Hello and welcome to the TriStar Software video training series. In this video we're going to talk about using the app to log attempts and final statuses while on the field. When you first, This is uh, being used on an iPhone but the Android app looks almost identical other than just a few cosmetic changes. For the most part it's exactly the same. When you first open the app you'll be greeted with the login page and here you'll have to enter your customer code which you can get from your admin at work enter your user ID and password which you'll also get from your admin and then the validate login button now the first time you log in you need to keep that button checked because what it's going to do is it's going to log into the server and download all the jobs that are assigned to you and if you're in once you've done that and then you go out in the field to do your work if you're in a coverage area that's not that good you can uncheck the validate login box when you log into the app and it will log into the local database any new orders that have been assigned to you between those two times though will not be in the database but all the orders that you synced up last time you were in the office will be there. Okay, so we'll leave the validate login box checked and we'll go ahead and log in. It's going to log into the main database, validate the user, make sure you're supposed to be in there, find out what jobs are assigned to you, and download them. So now we'll be presented with our category view. We have process jobs, delivery and court jobs, and jobs in queue. Process jobs is exactly that. It's all the jo process jobs that have been assigned to you. So you can see here a list of all the service of process jobs that have been assigned to me. I can go back to category and then I can see the delivery and court jobs and then this is all the delivery or court services that have been assigned to me. The last one is the jobs in queue. It shows you that there's zero jobs in there. What the jobs in queue is, is if you're not able to sync up because you're in a bad coverage area, uh, then a job will get put in the queue for the next time that you're in a good Wi-Fi or a good 4G or 3G connection. Okay, so if we go into the jobs in queue, we can see here that we have a couple of different options. We can look at uh, all of our jobs here in a list view, or we can look at all of our jobs that have been assigned to us in a map view. By clicking on the map view, we're just going to place all the jobs down there and then show ourselves in a little blue circle of where we are compared to um, the jobs that are on our list of things to do. Okay, So if we zoom in, we can see where they're at. Now this is going to default to a reasonable zoom around all the jobs that you have. And in my system, because this is a demo database, I have jobs assigned to me in Texas as well as California. So you can see that the map zoomed out really far. If they were all within a reasonable distance of each other, the map would zoom in much more reasonably. You can look at this as in a hybrid view. You can look at it in strictly a satellite view. Or you can look at it in just a standard map view as well. Okay. So if we go back to our process orders here, we can see that we've got the list view. And then we can move into a job to get some detailed information about that job. So if we look down at the list of jobs that we have, so we'll just scroll down and we can let's go into this job down here. TS10063. Okay, the address for this job is at 1704 Spring Street in Pass Robles, California. The due date for this job is 1031, 2014. The priority is standard, and the survey is for Sally Smith. So from here I have a couple different options. I can record a diligence, I can record a final status, I can do a serve with audio, which means I'm basically gonna bring up an audio recording dialogue and start recording the uh, what's going on around me and then I can go perform my serve. Now if you're in a state that doesn't allow single party acknowledgement of recording then this is uh, probably not a good idea. Consult with your your uh, supervisor to make sure but uh, most states do allow for single party uh, acknowledgement of recording which means you're the single party and you're good to go. You can also look at the previous diligence so if you click on the previous diligence you'll see that a couple of other times I've been at this place and I've tried to do things. The electricity was on one time, there was mail in the mailbox one time so I can see what I've done in the past to try to do this job. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and record a diligence. By clicking on the record diligence button, we moved into here. So now we have uh, our drop down box for select diligence item. Now this list of items is the one that is maintained by the system. So uh, you can add as many as you'd like here to uh, be useful in the field. So you can say electricity is on, there, and there were dogs in the yard. If the server really needs to type something that wasn't part of the predefined list, you can just uh, you can type in whatever additional information he wants. Okay, uh, the address is being automatically populated by the address of what the job is. The date and time is being populated by by the system. And right now, when I'm doing it, however, if I just did this an hour ago and I'm just now getting around to logging it, I can change the time if I need to. I can get the current GPS if I click the button. It'll grab current GPS from my phone. I can add an attachment so I can go out and take a photo. So maybe I'll take a photo of my, my phone here and uh, grab that picture. 
So we'll say use that photo, and now that photo is going to be a part of that job. Okay, once I see it there, I'm good to go. I can say done. All right, so I've grabbed GPS, I've added an attachment of photo, I've got a date and time, I've got some additional notes in there. Once I'm ready to go, I can hit submit, and then the job will upload to the system. Once we've successfully uploaded it, it's going to come back with a note telling you that the diligence value is uploaded. Click OK, and we're taken back out to the job's basic order information. Okay, now we can click on previous diligence, and now we can see that we've added that new diligence attempt into the job. Okay, now if we want to record a final status, maybe we were able to get these papers served, we can go ahead and click on final status. Final status is going to, of course, give us additional information that we can enter about the job and how it was completed. We'll see that it was for Sir V. Sally Smith. If it was an entity, we'll have the entity box checked. We can enter the agent for service in their title. We can check off whether or not they were in uniform, military, or police. We can put in a physical description. So we have a, a female. We'll say an age uh, 40. You can just click down the next if you like. So we can say brown hair, uh, white, weight 30, height, we'll say 5, 4. Eyes brown and no distinguishing marks. So we'll just say done. Okay. Then we'll come up with the um, the address, the address of the job, and with the manner of service. So how was it served? Was it personally served, sub served, maybe uh, uh, by mail, by email? Most of the time, it's going to be either personally served or sub served. So we'll leave it at personally served. If it was sub served, we would leave in who it was left with in their relationship. The date and time is again going to be populated by the system, and it's going to be right now. But if I serve this an hour ago, I can always change that time as well. You can just type in additional information on the report if you want to. So we can just say served uh, successfully. You don't have to type in any report information, but uh, if you want to add additional details about what happened, you're certainly welcome to do that for reference maybe down the road. You can again grab current GPS. Grab GPS. And you can grab attachments again. You can take a photo just like before. If you uh, are doing a posting, it's a good idea to take a picture of the door, let's say. Okay. Otherwise, once I'm ready to go, I can hit submit. And then we're going to get a message back saying that the final status was saved successfully. So we click OK. We're syncing up. Now it's actually going to send that final status up to the system. So now if we go back into our uh, queue here, we'll see that that job, TS10063, is now gone because the final status is pending on that. And therefore, we could not enter a second final status. So that's pretty much what the uh, app can do. I'll go in and quickly show you what the record uh, serve with audio does, just in case you're in a state that allows serve with audio. If I roll up on a house and I want to go up and I want to do the serve and I want to have an audio recording of this attempt, if I click on serve with audio, I'm going to be brought to the audio recording section. All I need to do at this point is click on the record button. It's going to grab the GPS coordinates, and it's going to start recording. Once it starts recording, then I can just put my phone back in my pocket. I can walk up to the door. I can ask if there's John Doe, whether they tell me yes or no. Now, if they say uh, no, then I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to click, uh, enter, enter an attempt. The reason why I would do that is because then I'm not going to save that audio recording. Uh, if I did complete it, I can go ahead and stop the recording and then hit complete serve. Either way, when I go to enter, like say, the complete serve, it's going to grab that audio file and it's going to attach it to that final status. And then it'll be part of the uh, record when it gets back into the main office. So that is the app uh, while using it in the field. Uh, you can see down here at the bottom, then that uh, you can see the little speaker there shows that there's an audio file attached to this final, final status. Okay. That's using the app. And if you have any other questions, please contact us at uh, www.tristarsoftware.com. Have a great day.